Oh man. Like it's just a, it's just a front row seat for the grace of God pushing back darkness and establishing light. Whether it like the, it, this past week it was being in the room with a 90 year old faithful saint named Bobby and, and running my hands through her hair as she just struggles and labors to breathe and, and just thanking her for her faithfulness, thanking her for how she shaped our congregation and then just saying to her, you did great, you've done so well. Go home, Bobby, just he's waiting for you. If you're waiting for something, you've done great. Like what a sacred, like we get to do that. We get to get in that space, that's crazy. And, and then Sunday morning, we, we saw three or four people give their lives to Jesus. That's not 270 people. We just had two or three people that they were transferred out of the domain of darkness and into the kingdom of his beloved son. And man, like to, to be investing all of me into something that's eternal and global and to be with Jesus and all of that. Gosh, I, I, you can give me a billion dollars to do anything else and, and no thank you. I, I mean, I'll take the billion, but it, it, like to be with Jesus all the time and in desperate need of the Spirit to do what it doesn't matter what your personality is or how hard you study, if the Spirit doesn't blow into that sail, it doesn't matter. So to be anchored into desperation with Jesus with a front row seat for him redeeming and saving and exposing the works of darkness. And gosh, what a privilege. That's why I love it. Gosh, I just love it. Can't believe I get to do this.